Uh, now, here's a question for you. How young is too young to make a major medical decision about your body? For Dylan Chapman, at the age of 11, he felt he was ready for a big decision. Yeah, because Dylan has a genetic condition which causes tumours to grow throughout his body. And those in his left leg meant it had become four times larger than his right leg. He was in constant pain, so he wanted to have it amputated. Now, a new BBC Three documentary follows his progress in persuading doctors that removing his leg would be in his best interest. We'll speak to Dylan in a moment. Morning, and his parents. Morning to you all. Morning. Morning. It's an amazing story. It's an amazing programme. We're just going to have a little li bit of a look at it. We're going to go to the hospital to see Professor Briggs about amputation. And I'm a little bit nervous about what he's going to say and what's going to happen. Last time he visited his surgeon, Professor Briggs, Dylan was told that if he came back healthy, with his pain under control, they could operate. While Dylan feels ready for amputation, Mum is nervous about the future. Sometimes I wish I could look into a crystal ball and know that when he's 18, this is what's going to have happened and it's all gone OK or all hasn't gone OK. Um, and without a doubt, when you have got a child, that's the most precious thing in the world to you. Um, and I don't, want it, I don't want it to be something that he regrets. I was old enough to make the decisions and I just want to have a better life without my leg because I don't really want it anymore. Dylan is here with his parents, Dawn and Mark. Morning, all of you. Morning. Morning. It's lovely to see you. It really is. Um, uh, Dylan, tell us a little bit about um, people who haven't seen the programme, I've seen it. Um, what was wrong? What was going on with your leg? So, my condition, it causes tumours to grow on the ends of your nerves. So, life is an everyday battle. Like, it's painful and if you threw a very small foam ball at my leg, it would just hurt and I would be in instant agony. It's like a big fireball going through your leg. At all times during the day? Yes. Mm. And you felt quite um, deeply, didn't you, from a young age, that you, you didn't want to have your leg anymore? I did. I, I said to Mum and Dad that I wanted it amputated when I was eight years old. Gosh. So I researched it and then said to Mum and Dad, I don't want this operation, I want my leg to be amputated. So I talked to them about it, because mm. I'd seen all the Marines who'd had their legs amputated and seen what they're doing now. And it just inspired me, they inspired me to have my leg amputated. Because you thought you could make a fresh, in, a fresh start, really? Yes. Mm. Well, Mark and Dawn, <laughs> I mean, you would, must have, you knew the sort of, the problems he was having, the pain he was in, but even so, when he said, well, I, I want to go ahead with this, what did you think? Initially, we thought, actually, it makes sense. Um, We'd always felt that, you know, with, with neurofibromatosis, the condition is progressive and incurable. So as parents, we knew that Dylan's leg was only going to get worse. It was always going to get much bigger. Um, so we, we just said to him at the time, you know, we'll, for the, we'll fully support you going forward and we'll do whatever we can to mm. help this to happen. Um, to say it's been a difficult journey would be an understatement, wouldn't it, really? Yeah, I mean, excuse the cliche about the you know, roller coaster of emotions, but it, that's exactly what it's been. You know, it's been very up and down. But you know, we've uh, strived for what he, what Dylan wanted, and thankfully we've got there in the end. So it's been a mm. great outcome at the end. So, how much of a of a campaign did you have to mount with the doctors to to persuade them that you should have the amputation? What were they saying to you? They were saying that it was I wasn't old enough to make the decision. Mm. They said I just wasn't mature enough to actually say, I want my leg amputated. It would sound pretty mature to me, to be honest. Yeah. Thank you very much. But you're 13 now, aren't you? And this, you, yes. as you, this, is, this all started five years ago with you saying that you wanted to have the amputation, so... It was a very long five-year battle. It was yes, then a no, then a maybe. And then, so. and then, and then something went wrong, which meant it sort of was sp speeded along. I don't want to give too much away because yeah. the program is <laughs> such an amazing program to watch. Uh, just tell us a little bit about um, now you have had the, your leg amputated. How much difference has it made to you? It's completely changed my life for the better. It's uh, my life is a hundred times better. I'm a happier human being now, and I'm looking into the future. And I've forgotten about my leg, and mm. I'm looking into the future with my new one. Okay, so you have a prosthesis. Yes. Did you do? And you, uh, what's your, you have a sporting ambition, don't you? I do, yes. Which is? I like, I love, I've always loved motorbikes. I've, 
I follow some of the riders and I know them. And I've always wanted to ride a motorbike. Okay. So I'd like to, I hope and, and I'd like to, you go want to be a, Do you want to be a runner as well? You want to do some running? Uh, I'm looking into para being a Paralympian as well. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> it's so yeah. inspirational. Thank you very much. Um, and as, for you two as parents, I mean, it's been such a difficult um, thing for you to go through. How much difference is this new, you know, things, he's had the operation now, how much difference is it making to you as well? It's kind of, uh, Dylan's lost a leg, but we've kind of gained a new child. He's just, uh, he's a phenomenal now. He's just, he's growing, he's putting weight on, he's happier in himself. Mm. He's just, yeah, we've, You've gained a, a, a child, it's great. Brilliant. And what about these swimming lessons? Because you started, didn't you, before you had the operation. How are they going? They're doing very well. I had my first swimming lesson with the one leg, and it's so much easier because I'm not carrying a big leg around. Hmm. And, and Dawn, is, how, where are we now in terms of, uh, of his condition, Dylan's condition? Um, and to be fair, he's got the, the tumours are still through his abdomen and spleen. Um, there in his... Um, middle area chest cavity in his back. Um, he has got some dormant signs of it in the base of his brain, but to be fair, we just don't think about it day to day. Mm -hmm. So in terms of discomfort and pain, do you, do you still have that? Not at all. From the day I came out of surgery, I haven't had any pain since. I had some phantom pains for maybe two weeks, but since then it's been nothing. There's nothing. Um, and just think about other children, because, you know, children do go through difficult things, and obviously um, Dylan is very, e very eloquent and all the rest of it. What about, you know, parents guiding their children through similar sort of things? What would your advice be? I mean, one thing, I think, for us as parents, one thing we did do is we made a very conscious decision when Dylan was diagnosed that it was going to either control our lives right. or we were going to take control of it. Um, so we made that decision that we would encourage Dylan to be a free spirit, to be proud of who he is. Um, and I, I don't believe that we've ever wrapped him in cotton wool. I think he's a person in his own right, and, and that's why we're so proud of him. Well, you should be proud of him, because he's an amazing young man. Thank you. really are. Thank and one of the, I mean, you did so many brave things, but one of the brave things, I thought, was standing up in front of your secondary school friends and telling them about yourself. Did, was that helpful to do that so that they knew what was going on? It was because before they were asking me, oh, what's wrong? And I said, I'm doing an assembly soon. So they were all quite excited and they all said, you did really well. And then from then they've all been really careful around me and yeah. they've supported me loads. And I just want to thank all of them. So they're fantastic. Well, well done, you. It's lovely to meet well you. Well done, Mum and Dad. Thank Thanks you. so much thank for coming in much. and talking to us. And, and come back luck. when you win a, win a gold. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it's in. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A Dylan's story, The Boy Who Wants His Leg Cut Off, is on tonight at nine on BBC Three. Uh, two minutes to nine. When four 